So at first I attempted to do this whole thing while running. It was a disaster. So let's just say for those of us who like to exercise outdoors, extreme weather days might not deter the most hardcore of us. You just figure out what the weather is and out you come. But the simple question is, is it safe to be exercising in extreme weather conditions? The answer might not be quite as simple. Let's start with extreme cold. Generally, if you're dressed in the right layers and exposed skin has all been protected, experts say heading outdoors is a good thing. Check the forecast ahead of time, plan your gear and length of time outdoors accordingly. Wind chill is important. The wind can penetrate your clothes and remove the insulating layer of warm air that surrounds your body. Any exposed skin is vulnerable to frostbite. Getting wet makes you more vulnerable to the cold. And if you get soaked, you might not be able to keep your core body temperature high enough. And then there are times when it's not worth it at all. For extreme sports like cross country skiing or running, for example, extreme temperatures, we're talking minus 18 degrees Celsius and an extreme wind chill, well then your lungs might be at risk. Exercising in the extreme cold over and over again can lead to hyper-responsive lungs, making you more sensitive to allergens. That's why experts suggest covering your mouth on those days to warm air before it heads to your lungs. How about the other end of the spectrum? I felt um, really drained, felt uh, not even sweating anymore because I'm overheated. Extreme heat is often more deadly, especially when it involves high humidity. That makes it difficult for sweat to evaporate away from your skin and regulate temperatures, putting extra stress on your body. Light exercising on extreme heat days might be okay, but experts recommend monitoring for any early signs of heat stroke or exhaustion and stopping immediately if you do sense any. Drinking lots of water, taking lots of breaks, and did I mention hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. The warmer the temps, the greater the chance for dehydration. And know your own limitations. For those with underlying health conditions, the really young or elderly, it's harder for their bodies to regulate temperatures. So taking activities indoors might be the better bet. But if you've checked the weather, you've got the gear, go get it. And now you're science smart. If you've got a science question on your mind, send me a tweet. I'll try to get it answered.